On behalf of our Three Crosses Church family to yours, Merry Christmas. We hope you enjoyed our worship today as we praise Jesus on the day of his birth. My name's Danny Strange. I serve as senior pastor here at the church. It's my honor to read the Christmas story for us today. You know, this whole month, we've been talking about Christmas as a sacred scandal, that Jesus came into this world through a, a pretty diverse lineage. We talked about Tamar, who cried out to God in the midst of devastating circumstances and found hope in her time of need. We talked about Rahab, who was faithful to God in the midst of destruction of her city and found peace from God even in the midst of the chaos. We talked about Ruth, who was deserted by her family and found God faithful to his covenant. She found joy even in the midst of those circumstances. And we talked about Bathsheba, who was utterly devastated and yet found God's love in the midst of all of that. All of these women who experienced such desolation in life found God faithful, and moreover, God used them to bring Jesus into the world. As we read this story today, we see that Jesus enters the world through similar circumstances. Mary, an unwed mother on a journey far from home, accompanied by her fiance, Joseph, found themselves in Bethlehem on the night of Jesus' birth, and we know the story, we'll pick it up here, where there's no room at the inn. This is the setting, the sacred scandal through which Jesus entered the world. It says, while they were there in Bethlehem, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth, 
peace to those on whom his favor rests. And this miraculous, beautiful, extravagant scene all accompanies Jesus as he enters the world on this quiet night in Bethlehem. You know, when we think about the lineage of Jesus and the type of people and circumstances God uses to bring forth his Messiah, we can't help but think about our lives. Some of us find ourselves desperate or desolate or discarded or discouraged even in the midst of this season. And be encouraged today that Jesus did not merely come for those like us, but Jesus uses those in circumstances like us. Today, wherever you are, whatever your circumstance, know that Jesus has come to this earth for us and God has plans for you. So on one hand, Jesus is the greatest gift the world has ever seen. And on the other hand, Jesus has a gift of love for you on this Christmas day. He is the gift that we've been waiting for. He is the one that brings hope to the hopeless, that brings love to the unlovable, that brings joy in the midst of our chaos. He is the Christ who comes and brings peace on earth. On him, God's favor rests. May you have a blessed Christmas. Let me pray for us as we continue in this day. And Father, we, we lift up this day to you. We are in awe that Jesus came to this world for us. We think of the humble circumstances through which he entered the world and, and we're humbled by that, that the God of the universe would see fit to come to this world in such a, a scandalous way. We think of our own lives and how you've rescued us in the midst of our own chaos and we're thankful. I pray for anyone out there today who's feeling like they're in the midst of devastation themselves, that you would meet them in this moment, that you would be the one who brings peace and joy and love and hope to their lives that they would trust in you and find you faithful just as you have been faithful for generations and generations. We thank you for coming for us and we praise you on this day, the day of the Savior's birth. Amen. Amen.